there are a few different ways to post a product from comments sold to Facebook to allow for shoppers to purchase by commenting. To post to Facebook, click on the Products tab. When you click the three dots next to the product you would like to post, you will see the option to post to Facebook via comment sold. While this is possible, we do not typically recommend using this option as it only allows for uploading a single image to your post rather than multiple images or a video. In addition, Facebook often tags posts made via comments sold as sales posts, which can limit reach and will prevent comments sold from reading the comments or carded items. In this video, we will cover the two recommended methods of posting your products to Facebook. These methods connect your Facebook posts with product and inventory details within comments sold. First, we'll walk through posting to Facebook with manual linking. We recommend scheduling your posts in advance and manually linking them to comments sold if you are uploading videos to your posts. Open your Facebook page or group and create a new post. If you do not have the product photos you would like to use readily available on your computer, return to the Products tab in your Comments Sold admin dashboard and click on the three dots next to the item you would like to post for sale. Click Download Image. The main product image will open and can be saved for use in your Facebook post. If there is another product image you would like to download, select Edit Images. Click on the desired photo to set it as the main image. You can now download image again to save the second image. This process can be repeated for as many photos as you would like to download to use in your Facebook post. Of course, if you have the photos already saved to your computer, you can upload them directly to Facebook and skip this step. If you entered a description when adding your product and you would like to use this description for your Facebook post, click the three dots next to the product and select Copy Text. Then click the blue Copy Text button on the pop-up. The product description is now copied to your clipboard and can be pasted into your Facebook post. You can choose to rewrite or create a totally new post if you do not want to use the product description. One thing to note is that using dollar signs and decimals increases the likelihood that Facebook would tag your post as a sales post. If this happens, you can click the three dots next to your post on Facebook and select Turn Off Sales Format. After publishing your post, return to the Products tab of your Comments Sold dashboard. Click the three dots next to the item you posted and select Link to Post. You will see the posts have been published to your connected Facebook page and groups. You will need to check the boxes for Post to App. If you would like the product published for sale to your mobile app and send the notification, if you would like your customers to be notified that the product is live. Click link next to the Facebook post you just made to connect the post to the product. If successful, you will be returned to your products tab and will see a blue banner confirming that the post has been linked. The second posting method for Facebook is to use auto linking. Prior to auto linking a product to a post for the first time, you will need to have manually linked a product previously. Let's first enable a few settings in Facebook setup. We'll be looking specifically at the settings related to auto-linking. The first setting we'll adjust is auto-link to post. If this is enabled, any Facebook post you make that includes a SKU associated with an item in comments sold will automatically be linked to that item. This will allow sold comments on those posts to be processed by comments sold. The next setting is post to app on auto-link. If you have a mobile app with comments sold, you can enable this to have your auto-linked products posted for sale in your app as well. With auto-publish to web store enabled, any items posted to Facebook or the mobile app will also be published to your comments sold web store. Lastly, if send notifications on auto-link is enabled, a mobile notification will be sent to customers who have opted in for notifications whenever a post is auto-linked. Once these settings are enabled, open your Facebook page or group and create a new post. You will follow the same steps for downloading images and copying the product description as with manual linking. This is what will auto-link the Facebook post to the item and comment sold. The correct format is number followed by the product SKU. 
we recommend that you avoid using dashes, spaces, or special characters when creating product SKUs to facilitate simple linking. Your post is now ready for Facebook. Once published, it will automatically be linked to the product and comments sold. You can view this post from within your comments sold dashboard by clicking on the Posts tab. Now you know how to connect your products and comments sold to Facebook page and group posts with manual or auto linking.